Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In this episode, we'll create this really basic but very simple carousel effect where as soon as you start the app, you're able to go forward in images. And if you reach the end, you actually reset. And at the same time, you can obviously go back until it's the last image. And now that button will be disabled. As you can see, it's very simple. You can customize it to do your own thing and it will work exactly as you're seeing it right now. If this is something you're interested in watching, stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it in a very simple way. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we want to do is actually go ahead, click on this button and then drag an image view. And I'm going to put it at this sort of the center, drag it and just make it a little bit bigger. What we want to do after is click on this button again, type in button and duplicate it. Now, one last final step, we're just gonna click on it, click on this button over here, and I'm gonna remove the text and add a background of left. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select the left arrow here, same exact thing. And we're gonna go to background, and here I'm going to type in right, and I am going to select the right arrow, exactly the same. I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to click on this button over here and I'm going to click on stack view. And as you can see, it groups it inside like a container that I can move around and it just makes it look better pretty much. And I'm just going to place it right at the center. As you can see, I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro. And at the same time, I will show you this on the iPhone 11 Pro simulator. Let's go ahead and open our system by clicking on this button and then clicking assistant. And what we can do and then drag this image view and I'm going to call it image used and we're going to drag drag the left button as an outlet first so I'm going to say left out and we don't need the right right one as an outlet we're going to drag the left one again this time left action and we're also going to drag this one and we're going to say right action just like that perfect so now that we actually have everything we need here let's go ahead and close this and I'm just going to go to my asset folder for real quick so from what you can see here I drag just a couple of images four images and I changed the name over here I clicked on it and then the name I changed it to one two three four if I had five then I would have added the fifth one here and I would have changed the name to five and I'll show you exactly why we need to do that but it's very important that you change the name of your photos um, to one two three four it doesn't matter what order just call them numbers make sure you don't duplicate them and make it in order as well let's go back to the view controller and expand the screen over here and the first thing we want to do is create an array of images so i'm going to do i'm going to say let array i for images and i'm going to say open and close the square bracket ui image and then I will say named string and at the beginning I will simply say one let's go ahead and copy this and remember we have four images so I'm going sorry so this should be like that and remember we have four images so we're going to copy this four times the first one is called one second one is called two Third was obviously called third and finally our fourth one just like that so these as you can see this is how you take an image and it's called one two three four whatever now the first thing we want to do before we even begin is to disable the left button when we're on the first image because and I'll show you exactly why but first let's disable it so all I'm going to do is I'll say left out dot is enabled and I'll say false. So when the app first launches, the left arrow people actually won't be able to interact with. And the first thing we want to do is actually work on the right button. So we want to go right, we want to move to the next button. And what I will do is I'll come right above the array here and I'll create another object and I'll say var current i for item, current item, and we'll start with zero. What I'm going to do is I will say image used dot image is equal to array i dot 
current current item. So when the view first loads, we're going to assign our image to the first image in our array. Let's go ahead and actually run this to see if it even works. It definitely will work. Okay, so as you can see, um, we did actually get the first image we have here from our array, as you can see. Uh, something that I did completely forget about is that this is actually going to go all the way up. So we actually do need to add some basic constraints. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our main storyboard. Right click. Sorry. Sorry, just left click. Go over here, scroll down and click on add missing constraints. That should do the job. And if we run this again and go back. Now we have the buttons at the right place, but the buttons are not doing anything. So let's go ahead and actually add some actions to that. I'm going to go back to our view controller and I'm going to start by the right action. And all what I want to do is I want to get the current image, which is at the moment it's at zero. And I'll simply say is equal to current i plus one. And then what I want to do is I actually want to copy this line and I'll put it over here. And let's go ahead and run and see what happens now. Okay, so now if I click, as you can see, we do actually move to the next images. What happens if I click extra more than the number of items that we have here? Let's go ahead and see. And if I click on it right now, as you can see, that whole app crashes. So we need to add a condition that will fix that. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say if current i is less than array dot count then do this else what you should do is I'll, I'll, I'll explain after right <laughs> so basically what we're doing here is we're checking if this current i has reached a number that's higher than the number of items that we have then what you need to do is set it back to zero and then set it back to the very first image if not if we're still under the total number of items that we have then assign it let's go ahead and see what that actually means so i'm just going to quickly run it i'm going to go back and i'm going to keep clicking and as you can see now it's working there's no errors we're clicking and once we get after we just reset to the normal which is exactly the same way you find this on facebook or insta or whatever uh, but now we actually want to be able to go back so i want to be able to move and go back so the first thing we want to do is that once we move to the front image what we want to do is we want to enable that left out what is it? we want to allow it so i'm going to say is enabled and i'm going to say true And now we actually want to give it some action first. So that's exactly what I will do. Except we're going to be reversing this action. So all I'm going to do is first I'm going to say current i is equal to current i minus 1. So we want to reduce it. And what I'm going to do is I will say if current i is greater than zero so greater than or equal to zero then keep going down so we don't want to go less than zero obviously because we don't have a negative zero item we, we, we go from zero to three we don't have anything under that so as long as we're at zero or above keep minusing and basically what we want to do is we just want to copy this line paste it here else what we want to do is we want to disable that item. So to do that, we simply copy this, copy the arrow, sorry, and paste it over here. Let's go ahead and press, press play. Perfect. So as soon as we click, you can see that this button is now enabled. And we click back and it's enabled. 
and now it's off so let's go ahead and see this there we go it's working perfect and we can go back to and once we go back all the way to the last image we can't go back otherwise we'll, co we'll have an error thanks so much for watching please remember to leave a like leave a subscribe comment below if you didn't like this tutorial or let me know how else i could have done it or improved it i hope you use this in something useful and have a good day